Hey guys, so on this on this video, uh, I'm gonna try to show you guys how to replace your uh, fan belt, and uh, it is quite simple. It, it looks intimidating uh, on the Humvee, but it actually is uh, a very simple process to uh, replace them. So in this video, we're gonna replace all four, and two two of them are for the alternator, which is uh, up here. And then two of them is for the uh, power steering, which is uh, down there. And uh, two belts drive uh, each one of the components. So uh, that's what we're dealing with. And uh, so part number wise, uh, let's go through part numbers. Um, the shorter ones, uh, which is the one that go through the power steering. Uh, I'll give you the part numbers right there. So you guys can go ahead and um, Write that down if you want to um, get replaced. I got this actually from uh, either eBay or Amazon, one of those two places, uh, for a fairly good price. I think that might have been like $20, $30 for both belts, uh, which is great. And uh, so that's the shorter one. And then the longer one, there's two of these. And uh, part number is right there. Uh, you need two of them. These are the longer version uh, that you're gonna need. So, anyway, uh, first thing you need to do is disconnect the uh, the clutch um, supply hydraulics, which you can let's see if we can zoom it in. But basically, just reach your hand in there. Uh, it looked like a, some kind of like an AN connection where uh, you use a 916 um, wrench to turn it and this thing actually rotates like the whole thing you can see I can rotate it so it was down there toward that way and as soon as I disconnected I wrote it rotated up and trying to clean up the connection but these are these are rotating so just take that uh, that connection off and that, that's that's how you kind of link the belt in because that hydraulic line is connecting to um, to your power steering so you just take your, um, I already got a couple of these in so you can see what's happening. So this one right here, um, I kind of just loop it around the fan, all around the fan to get it through to this side. And then you uh, you started to, you know, just get it on. And now um, before you do that though, you have to loosen three bolts. So on the, uh, on this assembly, uh, you got to take this, um, the uh, power steering so that's the one bolt stationary and this is the hinge point so this is where everything is rotating because you have to loosen them to get the belt on and then you uh, stretch them and then uh, you tighten the nut or the bolt so there's another bolt down there let's see if I can zoom it in it's kind of hard to see but there you go so that nut down there I'm not sure if you can see it but it's on a slot so you kind of just loosen that and um, just so you can like pivot it uh, and loosen it, uh, rotating it around the pivot point so you can get the, the uh, belt in. And there's another uh, bolt though. Let me see if I can get it to the point where I show you where it is. This one is right here. So on the driver's side, um, you can locate it and it's right there. That's the bolt. This is a three quarter inch. Uh, and it's also on the slot, you can see that. So you can rotate them to get the belt on and then just tighten up the spec. Uh, well, you kind of have to put some load on it to stretch the belt and then tighten that. And the other two bolts I just show you and uh, that would do it. And so uh, a similar process like on, on the uh, alternator or generator, there's a bolt. As you can see, I haven't done it yet, but uh, I, I I bet it's probably going to be the same procedure as this uh, bolt right there. You just loosen that, and then you loosen, uh, let's see here, you loosen another bolt. Let's see if we can get access to so, yeah, it's the one, the, it's this one right here, and that one's the pivot point. So you loosen that to rotate. And uh, and then uh, 
and then put some load on it and then tighten the two nuts uh two bolts sorry and uh, that should do it hopefully uh that helped you out a little bit i, I know it's kind of tight space to work on but um it's not too bad at all you can reach in no problem hey guys so this is a follow-up video from uh, my last one and uh what happened is i thought it was kind of a simple um procedure for the alternator but actually there's two more bolts involved that i didn't cover so i uh, thought i'd share it with you so um first one's right here um on this upper side the alternator there's one more behind there these two uh 916 so you take those uh or loosen those up there's two more so there's one here and there's one more it's kind of parallel to that it's on the same pivot point and it's somewhere in the let me see if i can see it yep right there so that's the other one and those are five eights so you loosen those four bolts rotate this towards that way get your belt installed and then you can stick a crowbar into this right here right this way and um, and and then you tie up these four bolts i to show you i got these two done already i still gotta do the bottom part but it's the same thing just stick a crowbar in there tie up the bolts and um so what i really want to share with you guys is something a little uh, i'm not sure what's really happening here but um so in order to get um the whole installation done you need uh, four different wrenches and a core bar of course so let's go over um uh, this side the driver side so you need a 916 which i covered um you're gonna need a three quarter inch um which is a really large bolt and it come it's uh let me see if I can locate it. Yeah, it's right here. So this bolt is three quarter inch. So that's all for the driver side. Now the passenger side is kind of uh, crazy. So you will need a 916 uh, to remove um, some of the bolts. But then one bolt, you're going to use a 15 millimeter. So for the life of me, I really don't understand it, uh, why AM General would have the majority of the bolts in English and have one metric bolt on a very, very uh, um, similar, well, it's, it's the same bracket, uh, basically, and uh, that they're using both uh, metrics in English, which, uh, which is very confusing. I, I really don't get it. But uh, I'll tell you what, I've been working on this uh, Humvee for some time and the 15 millimeter been used quite a bit and I I don't get it. Why why are they not using the 5.8s? Um, so anyway, you guys know what the answer is. Uh, you know, let me know on the comments. I'd love to hear about it.